Hey everybody, Dave with Bricks of the Dead here, and we're about to start up Let's Play Outlast Part 9. Uh, again this week, I'm going to be starting from the menu screen, because I have no idea where the autosave feature is going to poop me out. So, we're just going to start right here. Uh, before the episode starts, I want to share a little link with you. Uh, somebody, and I'll leave this to be a surprise, but somebody took some footage from our last episode and edited it together with Yakety Sax, which is the music from Benny Hill. And it's awesome, and you should check out the link, uh, which I will have annotated on the video. So, uh, yeah, check that out. And then, as always, uh, trying to build up our YouTube channel a bit here. So, like, subscriptions, uh, comments, all that fun stuff. Do it. And uh, let's get started. Loading screen. Okay, so... Here we are. So this is where I kept getting murdered and then I came back. So I think what we need to do is we need to be looking out this time for the doctor and maybe we can distract him a bit. Um, now I should also mention that somebody gave me a little bit of feedback on our videos and they said that uh, one thing that's really, really important is to have your camera up and running as often as possible because you get more information. Um, they were pretty vague. I don't know what they meant by more information, but I'm guessing that more stuff will show up in our notebook and, you know, maybe it'll open up some new options later on in the game. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to endeavor to do that as much as possible. Uh, the problem with the camera view is that you can see everything gets you know slightly pixelated. You know, the image quality isn't as good, so that's kind of that's kind of a bummer. Um, but I do want more information, whatever that happens to mean. So we're gonna try it out. That dude has no head. A lot of dead people in here, just like last time. I think this dude's still alive. And we're going to try to distract the doctor this time, because if this dude's yelling, maybe the doctor will run in here. And in hindsight, I should have hidden farther away. Um, there he is. There's our pal, the doctor. Let's uh, zoom in on him. And this is what I assume to be homemade scissors. Alright, so I'd say he's successfully distracted, right? Like if I wanted to go, you know, maybe this way? And I could be all sneaky about it? Uh oh. I thought he was. Nobody likes a quitter. Thought he was farther away than that. All right, let's uh, let's just run this way. And it has occurred to me that um, we're looking for something right now. What, what we're looking for is we're looking for the key to the elevator. Uh, I remember last time around we got to the elevator and it was locked. And well, we need to unlock it because that's just what we need to do. Uh, uh oh. I better hide again. Yep. And we'll talk. We'll talk in the bathroom, guys. There we go. Um, anyway, it occurred to me that the elevator is locked, so there's got to be a key for something for the elevator around here somewhere. Um, so we're going to try to find it, because I think that's what we were missing last time around. We were just running around and around and around in circles. There's got to be an elevator key, so we are going to track that down. And again, this place is super dark. I can't tell if the doctor's in here or not. He, he is in here. I hear footsteps. 
And then I also realized that I'm doing um, a lot of shaky mouse moving around. So I'm going to knock that off because I know some of you do not care for that. Uh, so, there, buddy. Oh! I'll be right with you. He, uh... Uh-oh. Long turn. I did not expect him to be there. And we got some blood loss or something going on here. Oh, well that did not work out the way I had hoped it would. This was locked, right? Yes it is. Of course it's locked. I also noticed that with the camera out it seems to sort of amplify the mouse movements that you're making. So that's kind of another downside to it. Uh, another downside here is I have no idea where the doctor went. So my guess is he's going to come out at some point and you know and, and murder us. Uh, but in the meantime, let's just let's just be poking around. Let's see if we can't find that key because that key's got to be around here somewhere. I doubt it's in this disgusting bathroom, but, you know, it pays to be thorough. And I picture some more running in the near future. It's got to be down... Was that him? That's... Oh, he saw us. More running. Just as I foretold. And maybe we can lure him in here and sneak down that hallway again and maybe search a little bit more thoroughly for the elevator key. Because we need that. I don't know why he shuts that door so damn loud. See, if it was me, I, I'd be real easy, like, shutting the door. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't just slam it shut, because, well, reasons. Okay, so we were pursued in here, and with any luck, he won't immediately come to the stall that we're hiding in. Well, like he did last time. And I have to wonder what effect, you know, all the, the shock and blood loss from losing a couple fingers has done to, to our guy. He seems to be handling it pretty well. Probably a, a lot better than I would have handled it. But, you know, I'm curious. Oh, there's still scary background music, which to me suggests that the bad guy is still maybe in here? But, there's really only one way to be sure. Yep. That was the way, by the way, to just, just open the door and pop out like an idiot. Oh, damn it! He's always down there! It hardly seems fair. And, you know, again, I would have to imagine that the key or, or what have you is got to be down in this little area because it was hard to get to. We had to move this stuff out of the way and, you know, so on. So it just stands to reason that, you know, if, oh, hey. Hey, look what I found that I ran past, I don't know, a dozen times before because I'm an idiot. 
Anyway, this has got to lead us to our key, right? Because it was difficult to get to, and that means that there should be a reward of some sort. I mean, that just seems fair. Wait. Another bathroom. Well, I know where we're at. Can I get back up? No, I can't. Alright, so there's... There's an escape hatch there. And it brings us back around here. Actually, this is not where I thought it was. We're, we're maybe somewhere new. Let's turn on night vision, see if... Uh, see if there's anything good in here. Other than, you know, potential hiding spots and the like. Still raining out. Wouldn't be as scary if it was nice and sunny, I guess. Yeah, alright, so this kinda this kinda pooped us out somewhere new. Mirrors. Aha! <laughs> and let's read it. David Annapurna, H resources.us at MurkoffCorp.lu. What's LU? Luxembourg? I don't know. Request for reassignment. To whom it may concern. This is my third time asking for a reassignment after two months without an answer. I don't want to work at Mount Massive anymore. I don't blame him. I've been an orderly my entire adult life, but I've never experienced a con such a consistent level of secrecy and disrespect. I have even been suspicious that some of the patients may be being abused. I know personally of two of them who have been moved to the basement ward and never returned. If I don't get an answer to this email, I will be forced to resign and may very well consider contacting the press. Thank you for your time, David Annapurna. And one assumes that uh, that David did not make it because I don't think the Murkoff Corporation takes lightly to you know threats like this. So. Sorry, David. I have very strong reason to believe that you are now dead. And we're gonna we're gonna get down. We're gonna creep around a bit because that seems prudent. Don't see much of anything down there? Let's get our camera rolling again because you know we want to record things. That looks like an impassable obstacle of sorts. We've got a set of double doors that I'm guessing are locked. Yep. So let's just hop over this little barrier key. Aha! Elevator key. Oh man, it is just dark. Let's uh, turn on our light. Yep, there's some stuff. Kind of concerns me too. We haven't found um, batteries lately. It's been quite a while, in fact, since we found a. Oh snap! Uh. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Uh, Juke. Yeah, that was that was me juking around him. I'm not good at it. Run! And I think what we have to do at this point is we have to get back to that other room, which, if memory serves, there is junk in front of it. So, it, it may be difficult. But generally the guy kind of gives up when we get over here, so... We'll see if that continues to hold true. Oh, it doesn't! He's here. He's going to kill us. Run! I don't know why I took this route. No good can come of this. 
Like, of, of all the choices that I had available to me, this was likely one of the worst ways I could have gone. Be yeah, see? What did I tell you? Jump! Alright. He's coming behind me, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he was just... He was, in fact, directly behind me. So we might have to go around the horn a couple more times. And, uh, again, I should probably lay down some yakety sacks here. That's a persistent little bastard, isn't he? Push! Oh, <laughs> and we've made it. I don't know where we're going next, but I'm... Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> well, how do you like that, buddy? We've actually managed to kill someone. We have actually managed to murder someone. I mean, it was in self-defense and, you know, I guess the elevator did, did most of the work, but instead of just sitting there getting beaten on by somebody, we, we pushed back and, and look at this. Look at the, look at the results of our hard work. I'm proud of us. All right, so we're doing uh, oh a staircase. Oh no, it is it's pretty damn dark. Okay, so staircase locked, of course. We got a corridor down this way. This side, I'm assuming, is also locked. Certainly. Alright, so our options being pretty limited, let's just uh, see what's this way. Yep. I also got some comments uh, on the last video that they said that, you know, this doctor guy not as scary as some of the other people we've come across you know like the the crazy people with the clubs and the knives or you know just that big dude that just rips your arm off and he, he's definitely a little bit more comedic um and i wonder if that's why we were able to kill him like he was supposed to be sort of or at least somewhat non-threatening um battery uh, I, I don't know, but I would tend to agree with, with what everybody said, that, that he just didn't seem up to the same level as some of the other bad guys. Oh, good job, Patrick. Nice work. And he was a pretty memorable bad guy, but um, not, not as scary. Not as scary as some of these others. Probably should open that a little more slowly. Oh, this looks familiar. This looks like we're back kind of on that first floor area. Can we tell where we are by looking out the window, or is it all... Eh, that's pretty frosty. Music's tense again, as it tends to be with this game. Oh, hey, there's a guy! Oh. It's that guy. Thank God you survived. I feared that secular maniac would carve you up like the others. 
Meet me outside. We're close now. Oh yeah, he's been so trustworthy so far. Huh? Let's just follow him. That's a brilliant idea. Go back here. All right. Now it occurs to me that I could have also gone up the stairs, and I wonder if I should go back and try that out. Um, I think I'm going to. I'm guessing it's going to dead end, but you know it might give us another dossier or, or some other information. Um, we might as well be thorough. It's not like there's a time limit on this game. It's not like, you know, the asylum's gonna, you know, explode or there's poison gas that's gonna leak out or whatever. We got some time, right? Locked? You betcha. Blocked? Yeah, okay, so... So yeah, fair enough. That was a total waste of time. But we had fun, right? Alright, so I guess we gotta go catch up to Father Martin, who, once again, has not been entirely trustworthy to date. And I'm not sure why we think he's gonna lead us outside, but I guess, you know, we've got pretty limited options, so... What are we gonna do? Hmm. A lot of bathrooms in this place. A lot of bathrooms. Here is somebody burning an arm and a leg, which I don't think would burn like that. And at any rate, it would smell horrendous. Like really, really bad it would smell. Alright, well this was a bit of a dead end. It's got a weird eye. Guy okay, also has a weird eye. These are just some weird eyed people. All oh, locker rooms in here, too. How many locker rooms does an asylum really need? I guess a lot. I don't know. I've never run an asylum, so... Who am I to judge? Anybody else think this urinal over here is weird? Just this urinal all by itself, and then there's this row over here of all these urinals? I think that's strange. And we got another dossier of information. And let's check it out. Oh, this is a short one. Uh, R. Traeger, MurkoffCorp.lu to P. Walsh at MurkoffCorp.us.com. Subject, Anna Purna, employee number 531920. Dear Mr. Walsh, please accept the immediate resignation of Orderly 531920, David Annapurna, and process him as a patient of Mount Massive to treat his persecutional dis ah, delusions. Treatment should continue until the time of his death. Thanks, buddy. Rick Traeger. Wow. Yeah, I figured things weren't going to end well for, uh, for old David there. You know, sometimes it pays to be the squeaky wheel, but uh, many times it does not. You know, they say the squeaky wheel gets uh, gets the oil, but sometimes the squeaky wheel gets replaced, and sometimes the squeaky wheel gets tortured horrifically. So, well, you know, you win some, you lose some, right? And I don't know, is it like smoky in here or something? Because getting like this weird kind of particulate look. Can I climb up here? <laughs> Cannot. I bet you I can climb up here, though. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I guess I just smoke in here because this room's on fire. Oh, that, 
I probably should have explored a little bit more thoroughly before I jumped into this room that was on fire. Uh, well, you know. Hindsight's twenty twenty and all that. Oh, fire effects are kind of nice. I like the lighting. I had to burn it. Oh, hey. All of it. Murkoff took so much from us. Used us. Turned us into these things because nobody cares about a few forgotten lunatics. True enough. So let it burn. Burn the whole goddamn thing down. Get out. You want to let me get out through the kitchen? Sweet. That dude did not survive. All right, so there's a apparently a sprinkler system that we can turn on. Oh man, this is uh, this is hard to see. He he pointed over here, but I don't know. This doesn't look like a good. This does not look like a good escape route. Let's jump up on this table. Oh no, we're being burned. Let's let's stop that. Oh, okay, here we go. This is really disorientating. I I, I kind of like this uh, this effect. It's it's really weird. Hmm. So we got a door over here, and Oh, okay, yeah, this uh, fire effect in here is really cool with the smoke and the uh, the wavy air. Definitely kind of cool. I don't know how I get to the kitchen to turn on the sprinklers, but whatever. I didn't really like this place anyway. We'll, we'll let it burn. Unless we happen upon the sprinklers, then we'll, we'll turn it off, because that was an objective. Nope, still pretty dark. You guys got any camcorder batteries around here? Dude is dead. Oh, here we go, more information. Let's check out this one. If you're seeing things, say something. There's no shame in psychopath psychopathological proximity stress disorder talk to your supervisor to get help from Markov success counselor you know, I, mean, I would not do that I would not recommend that these are not good people to work for I guess we can squeeze through here. Maybe this will lead us to the kitchen. Mm, big piles of junk. around this corner here. What do we got here? Of course we have to turn on two valves. Alright, cafeteria to the left, bass to the right, laundry to the right. And the way is obstructed, so I guess we just have the one way that we can go. Uh oh. He's coming right for us, isn't he? Now I hear a chain, so that's probably that big dude. I don't know what level of situational awareness he has. I'm guessing it's relatively low. But sometimes he surprises us. I think he 
he's like right outside this door. He just wants us to stand up so he can murder us. Eee, this is tense. We're running away. Hmm, I thought there was something chasing us. Now this seems like a good place for a water valve to be, don't you think? I would think so. Mm, nothing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Aha! How you like me now, game? No! Oh! And boom, murdered. I guess I shouldn't have been so cocky in hindsight. Um, did us no favors. Uh, I'm looking down at my stopwatch. It looks like we're at right about the 31 minute mark. So I'm going to call it quits here. Thank you guys for watching. Let's pay. Yeah, let's play Outlast Part 9. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.